Hello Aquarius, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. Welcome to the new setup. So here's how this is going to go. So we've got our overall readings here. We've got past, present, and future energies here. Clarifiers for each and also summaries or sometimes it is um, advice from spirit. Let me hydrate a little bit. Okay, so let's just get started. All right, so overall the energies are Abuela Medicine. And Abuela Medicine reads as such. Believe in a formidable power of healing of the transformation that it can provide for all aspects of your being and your life. Medicine comes in many forms from Great Spirit to facilitate healing of the body, mind, and soul. Whether it is the correction of unhelpful habits of thought, guidance for practical steps to resolve a physical imbalance or deep soul healing that frees you into fulfillment of your divine potential, there is no limit to what can be healed through grace. A current of divine healing is flowing to you and through you now. Open yourself up to participate in a beautiful healing transformation. Abuela Medicine. So we've got the Seven of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. What I'm seeing here is that you are clearing out all of the options and narrowing it down to those that are going to be beneficial to you, uh, Six of Wands, but that it is being done in a slow, purposeful, and methodical pace with the Knight of Wands. So. With these past energies, you've got the seven of cups, right? So that's, it's about having options. It's about the world is your oyster. It's about all of these rows are open to you. And with the six of wands, you, <clears throat> This is the victory card. This is the exaltation, the card of exaltation. So one of these choices, one of these choices is better than the rest. And you have identified that. And now you are going down that particular path or taking advantage of that option. But you're doing so in a very... Um, I've said purposeful and methodical, but you're making sure that your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed. You're making sure that when you do it, that you're going to get the most bang for your buck. So let's look at this. So the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Let me put those in order the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So what I'm seeing with this is that just like with this Knight of Pentacles, this Four of Pentacles talks about um, either, you know, now it's time to save your money or now it's time to hold back on something. You are keeping, you are keeping things close to the vest, right? because you are focused on long-term stability. You're focused on generational wealth. You're, and you know that in order for that to happen, that whatever you were doing previously has to be either stopped or adjusted. You know, you see how, you see how they're like really examining this coin. You're really looking at it like, okay, what can I do with this? How can I, how, what kind of decisions can I make that are going to capitalize 
on what I currently have at hand because what I really want to do is have this grow so that I don't have to worry about or I don't have to worry about my resources which would be nine of cups the wish fulfillment this is the wish come true this is yeah you're you're really focusing on your money and you want to be happy you want to be happy with where where your money's going and what your money is doing for you and by money it's I'm, I'm literally talking about like the resources that you have on hand may not necessarily be cash flow you know but it's it's about it's about making use of the resources that you have on hand so the six of wands is clarified by the high priestess the world and the devil card so the high priestess is the one who knows much and does not say much very much with the uh, four of pentacles here keeping things close to the vest right and it's like it's it's a very introspective kind of energy it's it's going in and getting the higher knowledge and knowing when to divulge the knowledge and when not to and then we've got the world card here which leans towards there's an there's a an ending in a new beginning here so with the end of having all of these options and not necessarily knowing where to go what to do and moving into okay made a choice and it was a good one this is a victorious choice for me right and also bringing that back behind with the devil card so it also could be the ending of the racing thoughts or self-destructive behavior um, it could be the end of reckless behavior which is also self-destructive or things that like bind you like old ways of old ways of thinking old ways of behaving old ways of doing and being it's like putting an end to that I'm hearing self-limiting beliefs as well because as you gain this knowledge the old knowledge hashtag cobwebs the old knowledge no longer works and so that hold that the old knowledge had on you is now released and you are now able to move move differently and then we've got the knight of pentacles which is clarified by the two of pentacles the two of swords and the five of wands so we've got the two of pentacles which is you know like a juggling card or a change card it's about moving from moving from one way of thinking or being into another again it's like just like with the world card but it's it's about the juggling act like see we've got the dancer here and he has to have one foot on the earth and the other one and the other the other foot attached to spirit and you see we've got the two coins here and so there's this balance can you see them so there's this balance of doing and being that is required in order for the dancer to be successful and then here with the two of swords it's about making the choice hold on me let me try something one moment okay that's better all right so oh gosh it's much better okay so with this we've got the two of wands I'm sorry the two of swords good great the two of swords which is about making a decision no longer being 
of double mind, but deciding or having two options in not yet making the choice because this is part of like being of a double mind, right? And then the five of wands is the defense card. It's the melee. It's, it's being beset on all sides with an issue, being beset on all sides. Seven of Cups. So with this, it's about balancing the resources. Yep. So we've got the juggling of resources and the juggling of thought and being able to defend your position as you're going through this decision-making process of moving from the Seven of Cups to the Six of Wands. And then final, final messages from Spirit are the Two of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and Temperance. You know what drives you. You have felt the first taste of what moves you. And while walking away from what used to move you may be painful, um, know that spirit has something better for you coming down the pipe with this Ace of Wands. And it's about staying the course and walking the path as it is laid out before you. Let me say that one more time. You have found what it is. You have found what it is that moves you. And even though you need to walk away from things that no longer work for you, um, know that spirit has something better for you. Know that spirit has something better for you, Ace of Wands. And it's about walking the path that is laid out before you. So, Aquarius, thank you for spending time with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And I will see Remember to be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And I will see you all next time. Bye now.